Hi, I'm Sam Haskell, Chairman of the Board of the Miss America Organization, and we have just finished our first night of preliminaries for the 2012 Miss America pageant. I'm here with one of my most favorite former Miss Americas, you Kay Stam Erk <laughs> from Indiana. That's right. And I miss her to this day. Well, I miss you, but that's a beautiful thing about the organization is that once Miss America, always Miss America. That's right. And it's just one big family. So. And the last seven are like my daughters, Aww. and this one is no exception. We had an exciting night tonight. We yes, got started we did. with the preliminaries. You know, I've said that this week's contestants, this year's contestants, are the smartest and the most talented. I would have to agree with you. You know, I sit in the audience and I watch, which is such a unique perspective, being able to sit out there and watch the girls do all the hard work up on, know, on stage. I know. And I look at them and I'm watching them and just completely blown away and overwhelmed by their talent, their poise, their grace, how well spoken they are. And I sit there and I think every single year, how can it get better? And then the next group of girls come. And they, it just seems like every single year keeps topping the last because the girls are so outstanding. And that's what this organization is all and about. And we've got some great new sponsors this year. Express Clothiers, Win Hair Care, Complicate, swim, Swimwear. And we're so excited to embrace them and bring them into our family. Now, I want to take just a minute to bring in tonight's preliminary talent winner, Laura Kepler, Miss Wisconsin. Yes. And tonight's preliminary swimsuit winner, Danica Olson from Utah. Yes. Hi, ladies. Congratulations. Hi. Thanks, We're so proud of you. You really distinguished yourselves tonight in the first night of preliminary competition. Yes, so I'd like to ask about Il Boccio. Is mm, that the sure. correct pronunciation? Il Boccio. <laughs> Il Boccio. Yes. How did you choose it and why do you enjoy singing it? I actually chose Il Baccio because a former Miss Wisconsin, Mary Louise Curry, sang Il Baccio right here at Miss America. And in my choice, when I was preparing for Miss Wisconsin, I was working with her as a, as a voice, voice coach. And right. Through her guidance, I just chose to sing it, and it's been really fun because I think since 10 years ago, this is the first time that it's been done on the Miss America stage again. Well, you did it, my dear, and Thank it was you. beautifully performed, Thank and we're so you. proud of you, and obviously the judges thought the same thing. Thank you. Katie? And Danica, the lifestyle and fitness winter, winner tonight from Utah, I have to tell you, when you walked out on stage and I saw you, I said, that girl, <laughs> she doesn't just have a six-pack, she has an eight-pack. <laughs> And then the jealousy, jealousy came pouring in. Oh, uh, you looked fantastic, and it's such an important part, the lifestyle and fitness, because it's all about health and well-being. What was the most important thing that you did to prepare yourself to be up on stage in a swimsuit and really promote that healthy lifestyle? It really is all about discipline and getting up early in the morning and pushing yourself farther than you think you can go. And the results showed tonight, and it's a really good feeling. And as well as eating right and knowing that presentation is everything when you walk into a room. Fantastic. Laura, you know, there are a lot of young girls out there who aspire to be Miss America and aspire to be in the shoes of you and Danica. How long have you been studying voice? Mm -hmm. And give some encouragement to some young women who might like to start taking voice if they haven't because they look to you as someone they might admire. I started taking voice when I was in fourth grade, and then once I got into high school and into college, I decided it was something that I wanted to pursue as a career. So I studied music in college as my undergrad, and I currently teach private voice and piano lessons. Oh, terrific. So that's part of my passion is encouraging young people, even if they don't think they can sing. Music is a place that they can feel safe and they can feel confident. So whatever their passion may be, to believe in it. That's great. Now, I think our audience would probably love to know what you shared about your state in the opening number oh. tonight. So why don't, you, why don't you tell us, let's, we'll start with Danica first. What did you say about Utah, and then we'll have Laura talk about Wisconsin. My state dominates reality TV. Singers, dancers, bachelors, and bachelorettes. I miss Utah, Danica Olson. <laughs> I had to pull for the Packers, so I said, <laughs> coming from the home of the reigning Super Bowl champs, where we wear cheese as a fashion accessory, because we wear right. cheese heads at Lambeau Love Field, that. and Laura Kepler, <laughs> Miss Wisconsin. That's great. Yes. And I'm Sam Haskell. Katie Stam, Miss America 2009. And we'll be back tomorrow night with more updates from the preliminaries at the 2012 Miss America pageant. Thank you.